Thank you. Uh, thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. As mentioned, uh, my name is Zach. I'm the founder of Nomad. And we are building a global co-living ecosystem for people like you and me. Our goal is to make it seamless for humanity to live and work anywhere, uh, hopefully helping us return to some of the best parts of our nomadic roots, which would include spending a lot more time in nature, spending more time with our communities and families, going to wherever nature, culture, and governments treat us well, all while working on whatever we want or for whomever we want around the world. Thanks to the digital revolution and many of the companies and technologies such as a couple of the, these listed here, it is becoming more and more possible all of the time to live and work nomadically. You all know this very well, but COVID did not create this trend. It certainly helped accelerate it uh, and educate the world on the possibilities of remote work. Personally, I've been living this lifestyle for 10 plus years. I've lived and worked in 65 countries. And what we've learned is that while it is possible, it is nowhere near seamless. For example, how many of you have shown up in the middle of the night uh, looking for your short-term rental on a street that looked like this, and you couldn't locate your listing or your lockbox, maybe couldn't contact the host, only to make it inside and find that the internet sucks and you can't take an important phone call? This is just one of the many examples of the challenges of traveling and working remotely. We've broken these down into three key categories, uh, beginning with consistency. So as mentioned, personally, I love Airbnb, uh, but they do lack consistency in terms of their accommodations, their check-in processes, and often their amenities. Second, convenience. So on the flip side of the coin, many of you guys are staying in hotels today. The process is incredibly consistent. Everybody knows how hotels work. But they are not convenient in the sense that if you were to stay there for longer than a week, not only would it cost a fortune, especially in a city like Amsterdam, uh, you don't have access to a kitchen, probably don't have comfortable workspace, certainly couldn't bring a bunch of friends or family to stay over with you. So that leads us to our last one, community or lack thereof. Regardless of whether or not you are a nomad, loneliness is an epidemic. Between 20 and 30% of us claim to feel lonely almost all of the time, and it also happens to be the number one complaint amongst the nomadic or long-term remote work community. It can be incredibly isolating to travel um, uh, and work remotely, especially if you're doing it solo. So without addressing these three challenges, the nomadic lifestyle is unsustainable for the vast majority of the population, therefore it's inaccessible which is why we started Nomad. So Nomad is a global decentralized living platform allowing people like you and me to seamlessly live and work well anywhere. And how are we going to do this? Well, to start by building a global network of membership access co-living villages and individual satellite locations scattered throughout the globe. Our developments are consistent, they're convenient, and they come with a global, digitally connected community of entrepreneurs, remote workers, and builders. We're building accommodation for the modern nomad, a place to stay for those who love to move. Now, all of this sounds very ambitious and grandiose. Um, it's very easy in this space to have really big ideas, but how are we going to execute on it? So we've broken it down into small and obtainable steps, beginning with a single point, which we dub the node. The node is our flagship living product that will act as the building block for our co-living villages and individual uh, satellite locations around the world. It is a compact, minimalist, sophisticated unit that has everything you need for comfortable long-term living and a little bit more like surround sound, heated floors, 12 foot tall or four meter tall ceilings, space shifting uh, rooms with disappearing beds, multiple workstations, and more. Everything from the fixtures, furnishes, finishes, appliances, um, all the way down to the utensils, towels, and sponges were either designed or curated by an award-winning team 
of architects, interior designers, and builders uh, for the sole purpose of flexible living and working from home. So now that we've covered our base product, uh, our villages. So this is my favorite part about the model. Uh, we want to have co-living villages in every Nomad Hub around the world where you'll pay one rent and you can live in any of the locations, no minimum or maximum leasing terms. And we have made real progress in this space. So we've actually closed on our first two village locations and pulled permits on both of them. Uh, the first one, we've broken ground in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is where we're headquartered. We have over 100 plus paying members there. And the second, we actually closed on this weekend while in Amsterdam with Prospera, who are here today. Uh, they had me sweating because I, we submitted this presentation weeks ago. We were finalizing details uh, at 2 a.m. last night, but we will be bu building a co-living village on an island in the Caribbean soon. So I will, they are going to be speaking today, and they're here, so I'll let them brag about their own project, but I will brag a little bit for them. So Roatan is one of the, in my opinion, most underrated destinations in the world. It has some of the most crystal blue Caribbean waters. Uh, it has best diving in the Western Hemisphere, great restaurants, nightlife, infrastructure. Uh, from someone who travels a lot, uh, I recommend you making it out there. We will be hosting a meetup next year as well. Raleigh, on the other hand, is just a quintessential American city, mid-tier tech hub that a lot of people are moving to from places like SF and New York. And in fact, one of our investors happens to own one of the most iconic buildings in downtown and has offered to fund the renovation of two of the floors for a social lounge and co-working space uh, for our members while we anticipate the construction of our first few villages. Now we just need something that ties it all together and helps us achieve the global coverage that we are looking for, which brings us to our network. So the network consists of our membership, uh, our villages, and our, these individual satellite locations I keep referring to. Our goal is to have 10,000 locations on the map by the end of the decade, which would sound insane had we not uh, a couple of months ago announced that we're licensing the design of our node plans to people so that anyone, including any anyone in here, can own their own on our network. Whether it's for a personal residence, an investment property, an ADU, we allow slight customizations. Uh, we want to maintain that consistency but this provides us an asset light way to scale an asset heavy model and it is making us legitimate money currently. We do have locations coming soon all over the world. Um, these are just a few examples. Uh, we have everything uh, from tropical Costa Rica to the Smoky Mountains uh, to regular American backyards. Last but not least, our membership model. Uh, so these are the people who will be staying in our villages uh, and remote locations. We meet up once per quarter somewhere around the world prototyping this grand global vision of having locations all over. We scout out the next locations together. And we would love to have you guys involved. So if you are interested uh, in potentially joining, uh, please come talk to myself or Hardik. Fortunately, Ryan couldn't make it. We'll be wearing uh, Nomad hoodies today. Uh, we're looking forward to connecting with you. But if not, uh, and especially if you're online, just go to nomadnation.co slash network state. Uh, you can subscribe. You can learn more about our memberships, owning your own node. Uh, also, you can follow us on X or Twitter at Nomad Co Living. And that's all. So thank you guys. I will be playing this video on the way out. Uh, but I'm looking forward to uh, meeting all of you. Thank you.